Uh, apologies for the break in transmission. So, in the early church, God pushed the church of corruption. What is happening in the body of Christ globally, especially in the area of finances, in the tithes, offering, how many of God are controlling people with money, God is working on that too. He will make sure that his church is without blemish because he's coming for a church without a blemish or wrinkle. Hallelujah. So an enemy like Anna and Safira will have to fall down and pass away. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Bless you. Amen. So we've been talking about Paul saying that the hand of the Lord come upon Elimas the sorcerer so that I won't see for a season. It's even the mercy of God that, that even made him say for a season. Hmm. He could have said that that should be his lot in life for, <laughs> from now and that's it. Forever and ever. Or even die. Mm. That he should fall down dead. Mm. So it's just the mercy of God that not the ultimate judgment that's true. came upon him. Mm. So another example of the hand of the Lord can be found in the book of 1 Kings eighteen forty six. The hand of the Lord that is the Holy Ghost. Mm. That's the time of Elijah. Yep. Elijah, 1 Kings eighteen forty six. I'll read from here. Yeah, okay, can read. 46. And the hand of the Lord was on Elijah, and he girded up his loins, and ran before, before Ahab to the entrance of Zedrib. So the hand of the Lord, the Holy Ghost, was on Elijah, and he girded up his loins, and ran before Ahab to the entrance of Jezreel. Here we are able to see, because the hand was mightily upon Elijah, he ran ahead of the king, King Ahab's chariot, hmm. the well-oiled, the best kind of chariot that a king could have. Oh, yes. He was riding it to go to Jezreel so that he will get himself out of the rain. Hmm. And we are told that Elijah, he girded up his loins and ran ahead of him. So that tells us that the hand of the Lord upon a person can bring about divine speed mm. divine speed that will go that would surpass that of a human being speed that's true no matter the best uh, maybe the best engine mm -hmm. or whatever it is that a man-made engine or whatever it is that a man makes that god is able to cause people mm. to go beyond it that's to true. go to surpass mm. that speed Thank divine you, speed because of the hand of the lord so mm. the hand of the Lord is able to give us divine speed. Thank the you, Holy Lord. Ghost is able to give us divine speed in all our endeavors. Mm. Mm. So you know, that's what that shows us. Yeah. Here. You know, as you are talking about divine speed, what, you know, what God brought to my mind was the account of Joseph. Mm. How the Holy Ghost helped him to interpret dreams. Mm. And within, within a day, after he has gone through so many problems, mm. you know, in Egypt for about 13 years, Within a day, God gave the hand of the Lord, the Holy Ghost gave Pharaoh a dream or two dreams mm. which he couldn't interpret. Mm. And it was Joseph that could interpret that dream. Yes. And within one, two days, he was lifted. Joseph was lifted from being a prisoner to becoming a prime minister. Mm. That was what the hand of the Holy Ghost can do yes. in, in our lives. Mm. And when that hand intervened in Joseph's life, he became the second in command. What he was trusting God for manifested in his hand before his very eyes. Mm. The same thing will happen to you, to me. Amen. You are believing God for a lifting. The hand of God is present to lift you up Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Elijah outran the chariot of, mm. of Ahab. Mm. Humanly speaking, <laughs> the way he ran was, was beyond human understanding. Yes. Human strength couldn't achieve what he achieved. Oh yes. I see God doing something in your life, Amen. which, when people see it and when they hear it, they say, "This is the Lord's doing," and it's marvelous in our sight. This has been done by God and not by any man, Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Thank you, Amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen. So, we want to go to Ezekiel? I know it's a popular story, but yeah. let's go and have a look at it. 
Ezekiel 37 in the valley of dry bones. Yeah. Ezekiel 37. Yeah. I read from here. 37, verse 1. Yes, 1. It says, The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones, and caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. Yes. So what we want to point out here is that the hand of the Lord was what brought Ezekiel mm -hmm. to this valley of dry bones. It was a vision that he was having because yeah. he had the vision, because he had the Holy Ghost upon him. That means that he had a vision as a result of that. Mm. And I'm sure many of us, we have visions, we have dreams. That's the hand of the Lord upon us. That's true. He's in charge of visions. He's in charge of revelations and mm -hmm. so on. Yeah. So the hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. hand of the Lord and the spirit of the Lord is the same here. Yeah. We can see that. Yeah. And set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones. Mm. So mm. Ezekiel experienced the hand of the Lord, not mm. once, not twice. Mm. And here we're able to see that because the hand of the Lord was upon him, he was able to have this vision. That's true. The vision of dry bones. Dry bones, yeah. And he was commanded to prophesy and he did as he was commanded. Mm -hmm. He didn't do outside of what he was commanded. That's right. He didn't do something that was contrary to what God had commanded. And because he was doing everything according to the leading of the Holy Ghost, the result was coming out was That's manifesting mm, mm. so the when keyword we do there, things yeah. yes mm. according to the leading of the holy ghost then you'll see those things manifest mm. the two results so it was doing as the lord commanded as the lord commanded we can see continuously the prophesy onto these bones and then he will do as he was commanded mm. and everything was coming out as he commanded he didn't just feel like okay let me just command just like that but it's what he heard that he'd repeated mm. and when we learn to repeat whatever the holy ghost is saying we see results Ay, hallelujah mm. Mm. thank you jesus and in that in that particular account of ezekiel mm. he could see he could see he could have the vision because the heaven above him was opened oh yes oh yes oh yes mm. because without that he couldn't see anything yeah without the heaven being opened upon ezekiel he wouldn't have had any dream, any vision at all. Mm. And today, as believers, there comes the truth that mm. the heaven above us is opened. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, why do we say that the heaven over us is opened? Please just be patient with us concerning yeah. this um, issue. I know there is a man, there are many... Um, views yeah. concerning open heaven or closed heaven yeah. or he closed heaven. Let's just look at some scriptures mm. because when we are in Christ, we are we we have an open heaven. Oh yes. Let's look at the book of John, John one fifty one. Yeah, John one fifty one. Yeah. Mm. At least, at least, so, so that at least, you know, we can be very clear concerning the views mm. and look at you know what the Bible says in light of. The mm. Old Testament and, and the New the Testament. New Testament. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I read. That's mm. verse um, 51. Hallelujah. Mm. Thanks for joining us. Mm. Our, our sister from the Middle East. God bless you. Mm. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. And Pastor Sunday too. Uh, the Pastor Sunday will let. Thanks for joining us. Mm. Yeah, verse 51. And he said unto him, Very, very, I say unto you, Hereafter you shall see heaven opened. And the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. Mm. Hmm. He said, hereafter. If we look at that word, hereafter, it says, from now. Mm. From now. That's the account of Nathanael. Yeah. When Nathanael came and and Jesus told him that he knows him. Mm -hmm. they were, that, he was surprised. That, How come you know me? Mm. That I saw you were, when you were under the tree. And then he now told him that yeah, you have not seen anything yet. That from here after, that means from now. 
that the heaven is open mm. and the angels of God are sending and descending upon the Son of Man. Mm. If we are in Christ mm. and Jesus Christ said he had an open heaven mm. and we are in Christ, mm. that means that we are also under an open heaven. Definitely. Definitely. Because we are in Christ. We are not outside Christ. No. As soon as you are born again, you are under an open heaven. That's why the Bible says it here. Hereafter, you shall see heaven open. Hmm. That means from now, you will see heaven open. Hmm. And angels descending and ascending on the, man, the Son of Man. That is on Jesus. That means that if we are in Christ, we also have an open heaven. Thank you, Jesus. For angels to be ministering unto us, coming and going and ministering unto us. Hmm. So without that open heaven, there is no ministering of the angels mm, and we mm. know that angels exist that's we know that they have come to minister to those that will be heirs of salvation that's, that's what true. the bible tells us that's true so if we are in christ that means that we are in an open heaven thank you Jesus. then if the bible tells us that we are seated together in heavenly places in christ jesus Mm. Far above principalities and powers mm. and everything mm. that is Thank named. You, Lord. Thank you, then Lord. that means that we have an open heaven. Mm. Or where is the heaven then? Because mm. the Bible says we are seated together mm. with Christ in heavenly places. Mm -hmm. So that means that we have an open heaven. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Wow. So you can't be, you know, you can't be sitting down in heavenly places and you know and have you know, the a heaven above, closed a, heaven. A, a, you know, have a closed heaven. You know, believers in Christ, we are not under heaven. We are above. We are above the heavens. Yes, we are <laughs> seated together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And that's found in book of Ephesians 2, 5 two, to 6. six. Yeah. And they can also write down Ephesians 1, where it talks about 20 to 23, where it talks about Christ, that he has been taken to sit in heavenly, that he has been taken up far above principalities and powers and every name that is named mm -hmm. of things in this world, things to come, things in this world, the name and every every name that is mm. above every name. He's above principalities and powers. And we are in Christ. So that means that we are above also because he has taken us to sit in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Mm. And if we look at Peter also, when he had a vision, if we should note it, it says Acts 10, yeah. 11 to 23. We know of Peter's vision with the animals that, came, that he saw that were let down from heaven. The Bible says that the heaven opened. Hmm. It wasn't that the heaven was being opened. Hmm. It wasn't that the heaven was about to open or opening. It was opened already. It was past tense, opened. Hmm. Opened his past tense. So that was the state of heaven when he saw the vision from heaven. Mm. It was opened. He wasn't just seeing it and it was beginning to open or anything like that. It's, it's put in past tense. So that means that he was operating under an open heaven. That's why he saw the vision. Mm. If you have visions today, if you have revelations today, that means that we are operating under an open heaven, mm. not a closed heaven. Mm. 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 Wow. Wow. And then some people can say, oh, that what about um, uh, suffering mm -hmm. or one thing or the other L is happening. Lack of that, money. That, yeah, that, that means that we are under a closed heaven. Mm. When Paul is suffered greatly, we haven't seen anybody that suffered as much as, he, or mm. maybe some have. Mm. But he didn't talk about, oh, heaven, the heaven is closed against him or anything like that. Mm. He knew he was to suffer many things mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because of Christ. And even the Bible tells us that in Christ Jesus, that he that wants to live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. Mm. 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 There are other books also. Peter also tells us about sufferings. Mm. Mm. Sufferings for, for Christ. <laughs> so which means that because somebody is having a challenge or a tribulation, that doesn't mean that the heaven about that, about that person is, is closed. Mm -hmm. No. You know, under the Old Testament, mm -hmm. that was the way God was dealing with people then. Mm -hmm. um, King Solomon, when he was dedicating the temple, mm -hmm. in, in, uh, in the book of 2 Kings 8, mm -hmm. 35 to 36, 2 Kings 8, 35 to 36, he was saying that, Oh Lord, if the heaven is short, mm -hmm. 
because of the sins of these people. Mm. So when they pray, you know, when they turn away from their sin, when they mm. pray, send down rain, oh God. That was under the old covenant. But in our own time, the Bible says that God sent his rain mm. to both the wicked and the to the to the just, to the righteous. Mm. And also said that God's goodness leads people to repentance. Yes. Even to the people that are not born again, saved, mm. they are enjoying God's goodness mm. so that they won't have excuse. Mm. Which means, as it were, heaven above there was opened so that they cannot have access to God. Mm. You can't be born again if your heaven is not open. You can't be born again. Mm. You are born again because the Holy Ghost has come to convince has come to convince us. Mm. That was how we got born again. So your heaven is opened if you are in Christ 24-7. Mm. And because you have tribulations, Christ said they will come. He says, In this world you have tribulations. Mm. Okay. They'll be of good cheer. You know, instead of coming to be asked, Oh God, open my heaven. Open my heaven. You should say, God, I thank you because my heaven is open. Oh, yes. <laughs> Therefore, I have access to all that belongs to me. And when you know that your heaven is opened, you will be able to stand against whatever the enemy is bringing to stop you from enjoying an open heaven. Yes. Somebody who is sick, the enemy is trying to hinder him, him or her from enjoying an open heaven mm. health-wise. Mm. Somebody who doesn't have money to spend, the enemy is trying to hinder him from enjoying an open heaven financial wise. Mm. You should take authority and say, look, yes. my heaven is opened. Mm. I am seated in heavenly places. Mm. Far above the power of darkness. Oh yes. Therefore, lack is not accepted. Mm. But don't want to sit and say, well, I, uh, you know, I'm suffering because my heaven is open. Mm. That is not it. Mm. In light of other scriptures. Mm. Hallelujah. Or, uh, or people will say that they want to sow. In order to have that open heaven. Hmm. When Jesus Christ said it is finished. Hmm. Wow. So are we paying money now to have an open heaven? Let's sow into this so that we can have an open heaven. Hmm. God doesn't need our money. No. He, he has already finished everything in Christ. What we need to do is to enforce it. Hmm. And then even apart from that, when we talk about an open heaven, because we have Christ, because we have the Holy Ghost in us, we have an open heaven. Or would we say that, okay, we don't have an open heaven. So how come we have the Holy Ghost? Mm. Are we going to say that the Holy Ghost doesn't have an open heaven? Mm. For example, when we look at John 16, 13, that tells us how be it when the spirit of truth is come, that it will guide us into all truth. That whatever he hears, whatever he hears from where? Whatever he hears from heaven, from the Trinity, from him and the two, the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Whatever he hears in those meetings that he will show mm. them unto us, he will tell us of those things. That's open heaven there. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> that he will, whatever he hears, that's open access to heaven. Hmm. He will show to us, he will tell us, mm. he will guide us into all truth. John 16, 13. Thank you, so Jesus. that's open access and then even apart from that when we pray in the spirit uh -huh. that keeps to mind is that a closed heaven or an open heaven mm. because the bible says that when we pray in the spirit we are praying unto god thank directly you, lord. thank you lord we are praying unto god directly mm. we have access mm. immediately mm. Mm. and then when we talk about open heaven it's not only concerning finances. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's not finances. <laughs> money, 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 <laughs> money. It's not just that. No. Huh. The Bible tells us that in Christ Jesus is hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Thank wisdom you. and knowledge is under an open heaven. Mm. Revelations is under an open heaven. Mm. The manifestation of the kingdom of God is under an open heaven. Thank you, Jesus. The name that we have, okay, when we call the name Jesus, isn't that open heaven there again? Mm. We say, oh, so even the enemy and everyone there mm. that wants to hinder the healing oh, yes. of maybe that person has to give way. Because his name is above every other name. You, and Jesus. at the name of Jesus, every name must bow. Of things in heaven, mm -hmm. things in earth, and under the earth. Hallelujah. So that name, even is access, mm. also. 
to an open heaven. Mm, thank you. Hmm. As you are watching me, I see the heaven above you that has been opened. I see it manifesting in Jesus' name. Amen. The heaven has been opened. In fact, when the Holy Ghost came, came on the day of Pentecost, uh, that was when mm. fully the heaven above mm. every human being on the planet has been opened. Oh, yes. Because in Joel 2.28, mm. the Bible says that you know, God will pour his spirit upon all flesh, which means oh, yes. all flesh will have access to the Holy Ghost. Oh, yes. So every person on the planet have access to God. Oh, yes. Otherwise, you and I won't be born again. We won't be saved. Yes. Because the Holy Ghost has come. Yes. The heaven has been opened. Oh, yes. It's a matter of knowing how to connect with the open heaven. Oh, yes. And when you are born again, you are seated in heavenly places. It's oh. awesome. Oh, yes. It's cool. It's heavy stuff. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Oh, yes. <laughs> Heavy stuff. Mm. However, mm. there can be trouble, there can be problems, there can be challenges. Mm. But when the challenges come across our ways, we shouldn't mm. say, "Well, look at me," it's because my heaven is all opened. Um, no, 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 no. Take authority. You take authority and put your foot down. And say, mm. "Look, Satan, mm. my life is not going here. Mm. I am created in Christ Jesus to succeed. Mm. I am not a failure. Mm. Failure is not a big deal. Mm. But you know, accepting failure is a problem." I'm not a failure. So you put your foot against anything that the enemy is planning. Mm. So heaven above you is opened when you are in Christ Jesus. Oh, yes. In fact, there was a time I was traveling and God told me, said, Jesus Christ is open heaven personified mm. as a person. When you're in Christ, heaven above you is opened and force the open heaven mm. and you see the result in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And even to buttress the open heaven because we have Christ, because we have the Holy Ghost in us. Why is it that the Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians 2 mm. that what eye has not seen or mm. ear heard, mm. neither entered into our hearts wow. the, law, the things that God has prepared for us. But it's the Holy Ghost that will reveal those things unto us, the hidden things, the deep things of God. Thank he you, will Lord. reveal them unto us. That's an open heaven then. Thank you, Jesus. Or else we won't be able to see or hear or whatever it is that we need to get from heaven. Mm. We won't be able to get them. But because we have <laughs> access through mm. the Holy Ghost, mm. we can see spiritually. I'm not talking about physically now. We can see, we can hear, we can taste. Let's remember we are made up of spirit, soul, and body. That's true. So our spirit man is in touch with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. And we are one with the Holy Ghost because the Bible says that he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. Mm. So he has access to our spirit to reveal those things unto us. Mm. Mm. What eye has not seen or ear heard, neither entered into the heart of men that God has prepared. Mm. It's not that he's going to prepare them. He's already prepared them. Yes, it's prepared. They're already there for us to see them. Thank you, So Lord. that we can believe those things even while... They are not seen physically. Mm, wow. That is faith. Uh -huh. That is faith. So that we can see those things in the spiritual and lay claim to them and cause them to manifest in the spirit, to manifest in the physical, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. even by the spirit of the Lord, so that we can lay claim to them, so that we can have faith for them. Mm. Those things, we cannot see them physically, but we can see them in the spirit. Oh, yes. Mm. So that we know, okay, this is for us. Then we have the belief then. We have the hope. Faith is the substance <coughs> of things hoped for. Mm. He's the one that will bring those things that we will now hope for. Mm. And we, they, evidently, we cannot see them. Even Paul was even saying that, why we look not at things that are seen, mm -hmm. but at the things that are not seen. Mm -hmm. But the things that are seen are temporal. Mm -hmm. But the things that are not seen, seen are eternal mm. and they will manifest in their own time thank you Lord. Thank in their you, Lord. own set time mm. they will make all things beautiful hallelujah huh. in fact as we are talking <laughs> you know you know god just put this in my mind he said if you are a believer in christ you are a mobile carrier of an open heaven oh yes that is an open heaven moving on the street of you know whether you're in england whether you're in africa whether you're in nigeria you are a carrier of open heaven. Oh, yeah. So think like that and act like that. Don't begin mm. to spend hours praying, God, open my heaven, open my heaven. It's mm. already opened. Oh, yes. You are to step out 
and take authority. Mm. And many people, because they maybe they are praying about something for maybe for about one year, two years, five years, and they have not seen results physically. Mm. They say, well, it's because my heaven is not open. That is a lie of the devil. Mm. As long as you can put your foot down and keep on seeking God, if that thing you are asking God is according to his will, mm. it will come to pass. Oh, yes. Because God won't lie. If he has promised you, what he has said will come to pass if you don't give up. Mm. Don't allow them to, to tell you that your heaven is closed if you are a believer, if you are in Christ. Mm. Your heaven is opened because you are in the Lord. And in our own time, in our own time, in our in our own time, we have access to that open heaven. And if you pray in the Holy Ghost, as you have said, if you pray in the Holy Ghost, your prayer just goes straight to God. Nothing hinders your prayers. It goes mm. straight to God. Mm. I know sin can be, you know, yes. somewhere, you know, in people's lives. But you know, if there's a sin. In your life, then confess it and move on. Mm. But in Christ, mm. your heaven is open and enjoy. Please enjoy the enjoy the open heaven. Mm. Mm. Enjoy it. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm. So to continue, <coughs> the hand of the Lord brought Israel out of the land of bondage. Wow! Wow! The wow. hand of the Lord, the Holy Ghost, brought the children of Israel. Out of the land of bondage, out of Egypt, mm. the mighty hand of the Lord. That's what we are told. The mighty hand of the Lord brought Israel out of bondage. You can go and read that Deuteronomy six twenty one to twenty three that talks about the children of Israel being brought out of bondage. Deuteronomy nine twenty six. Also, you can read that. Then I just want to chip in here that when we talk about the hand of the Lord being the Holy Ghost that brought the children of Israel out of the land of bondage, we are also talking about the Holy Ghost. Hmm. We are talking about the Holy Ghost because the Bible says that where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Oh yeah, Liberty from bondage. Mm. And the Bible tells us also that you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. That's true. You shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. How do you know the truth? It's by the Holy Ghost showing unto you the truth. So that you are made free. So that you are liberated hmm. from bondage. From oppression. From fear. From terror. From anything that is holding you captive. Thank you Lord. So the Holy Ghost is the one that will bring about liberty. That will bring about freedom. He can intimate us concerning the truth that we need to follow. So that we can be free indeed. So that we can experience freedom in order to go and deliver those that are in captivity. Mm. Those that are bound. Because if somebody is bondage, is in bondage, they can't go and deliver somebody else that is <laughs> in bondage. <laughs> they can't give what they don't no, have. Definitely, definitely. So definitely. it's when you are free that you can also now liberate others. Mm. Mm. That is why God always makes sure that His mm. people walk in freedom. Mm. It's, you know, it's either, you know, it, it links them up with a scripture, or maybe to a man of God that will support them prayer wise, mm. or you know, gives them a dream that will set them free from bondage, mm. so that they can go and help people out. Yes, as you said, you cannot give what you don't have. Oh yes, oh yes. God is happy when His children is delivered, mm. and you are watching this program, and you are going through any demonic, uh, you know, oppression or bondage of the devil. Mm. I decree that okay. you have your freedom by the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Because you know because God is happy when you are delivered and that deliverance takes place now. Oh yes. Not next year. Oh yes. This day is your day of freedom. Amen. This day is your day of deliverance. Amen. By the power of the Holy Ghost Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Our of Christ said, if I believe in him, mm. what he did shall I do also? Yes. And I will do more than what he did. Mm. You know, I will do more than what he did. Mm. Now, if Christ was to be in your room, mm -hmm. and you are watching him broadcasting, mm. what he would just say is that, you, lady, you, man, be free. Mm. And once you receive that word, freedom becomes yours. As you are watching, and you are under any demonic bondage, Amen. be free Lord, by the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank so that you can go and help others. You know, I'm going to support others in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And while you were saying that, there is somebody called Lola there, and there is somebody called Grace there. God is setting you free, is making you, is bringing healing 
to you now by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you. So the hand of the Lord, the Holy Ghost, can bring out of bondage because where the Spirit of the Lord is, there, there is, is liberty. liberty. Mm. And we are told, told also concerning the children of Israel that the mighty hand of the Lord, the Holy Ghost, was against the Egyptians. Mm. The mighty hand, they experienced the mighty hand. The enemy also experienced the mighty hand. Not for them, but against them. Mm -hmm. So their cattle went for it. <laughs> Even their cattle you know, were not exempted. <laughs> yes. They, <laughs> that's why we are told that there was a great, a grievous moray mm. in there. That's Exodus 9.3. You can read that on your own because of our time. Then we want to continue with the hand of the Lord. Mm. That the hand of the Lord teaches. Mm. That's true. The hand of the Lord teaches. Mm. Job 27.11 tells us. Job was saying that the, the, the book of Job tells us that the hand of the Lord, I will teach you by the hand of, of the, the Lord. Lord. Yeah. And that which is with the Lord, I will not conceal. Mm. And who is the teacher in our own time? The Holy Ghost. So, th so that also proves that the Holy Ghost is the hand of the Lord. Mm. The hand of the Lord teaches. That's why the Bible tells us in John 14, 26, that the Comforter, when he comes, that he will teach us all, all things. things. Mm. And then 1 Corinthians 2 tells us, that he reveals mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the deep and secret things yeah. unto us. Yeah. So that too is there. And then maybe you can write John 14, 26 down. You can also look at John 16, 13. Yeah. First Corinthians 2, 9 to 16. Mm. So which means Concerning yeah, you know, which means when we have the Holy Ghost, he can teach. you know, he can teach. You know, we can't just be ignorant. Mm. You know, a teacher gives knowledge so that's why believers in christ we should be ahead of unbelievers mm -hmm. in our career mm -hmm. you know in our lifestyle oh yes because the holy ghost our teacher is with us 24 7. Mm -hmm. once even your boss doesn't know mm -hmm. at what place he can show he can show you oh yes he will guide us into all truth oh yes it's not just the truth concerning scriptures but mm -hmm. even the truth in everything because the Bible tells us that he will teach us all things. All things. All things, not some things. So, mm. even when it comes to your career, maybe you are an accountant and he can teach you. How? Even what you have not even read in any textbook, <laughs> he can teach you. Oh, yeah. Maybe you are a cook. He mm. can teach you mm. on how to cook healthy food. He, he can, can teach you how anything. To, yeah, how to be a good husband. Yes, how to be a, a good godly, wife. How to be a good wife. He can teach you. How so to can teach us. Yeah. How to be a good parent. Oh, yes. How to raise up our children. He oh, can teach yes. us. Oh, yes. All things means all things. Oh, yes. He can teach you how. If you, you know, how to sow. He can teach you. Oh, yes. You have teenagers and you don't even know how to raise them up. He can teach you. Oh, yes. You have toddlers and they're giving you problems. He can teach you what to do. Oh, yes. That's the Holy Spirit. All things mean. All things. All things mean. All, all things. things. All, all things. things. There is no small thing that he can't teach. Mm. Once we acknowledge him, mm. Holy Spirit, I don't know how to do it. Teach me. Mm. What do I do next, Lord? Mm. How do I do it, Lord? You can ask him and he will answer you immediately. Sometimes mm. the answer can take some time. Mm. Because many of us, you know, the answer, he knows when we are ready for, ready for an answer. Mm. Mm. Because <laughs> he knows what we can bear at every point uh, in time. Yeah. If we look at the book of um, John 16, okay. 12, it tells us that, that Jesus Christ was telling his disciples that I have many things to tell you. Oh, yes. But you cannot bear them now. You can't. You can't. But how be it when the spirit of truth is come, he will teach you all things. Oh, yes. So even Jesus Christ, he knew that the disciples were not able to bear everything that he was telling them. So he kept some things. Mm. And he said, the Holy Ghost will now come and help us. Oh, yes. And because the Holy Ghost is the Spirit of Christ, he knows what we can also bear at every point in time. So he will not just give us all the download, a download from heaven at <laughs> once. Uh, that will be too much. It will be too much for us. So he gives us little by little. 
according to what we can bear. That's what he will give us. Mm. So whenever he, he shows us something, it's because he knows that we can bear it mm. now. Mm. That's why we move from glory to, to glory, glory. To glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Awesome. Amen. Awesome. Holy Ghost is wonderful. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so that's why the, the, in all our ways, Acknowledge it. Acknowledge it. And, it and with time, it can be instant. Mm. It can be you know after some time. Mm. But be sure mm. he will give the answer. That he will give you what to do. Oh yes. Over anything that you're asking him. Mm. That's him. That's him. Oh yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Let's go to the next one. We might not be able to finish today, but <laughs> we will <laughs> we'll get to a particular point and stop and maybe continue next week by the grace of god yeah. so ezra said the good hand of the lord that is the holy ghost was upon them mm. do you want to read you do want to read those don't you okay yeah read ezra okay ezra 8 18 yeah that's right 18 yeah mm. verse um ezra 8 18 okay ezra 8 18 i will read mm. from here mm. Ezra 8, 18. Mm. And by the good hand of our God upon us, they brought us a man of understanding of the sons of my of, of, of the son of my Malai, the son of Levi, the son of Israel, and Sherebiah, with his sons and his brethren. Mm. 18. That's verse 18. Mm -hmm. mm. And 22. 22 says, For I was ashamed to ask of the king a band of soldiers and horsemen to help us against the enemy in the way. Because we had spoken unto the king, saying, The hand of our God is upon all them for good that seek him. Mm. That's for somebody. Mm. Hmm. But his power and his wrath is against all them that forsake him. Verse 31. Then we departed from the river of Ahava on the twelfth day of the first month to go unto Jerusalem. And the hand of our God was upon us. And he delivered us from the hand of the enemy, mm. and of such as lay in wait by the way. Mm. Mm. So the hand of the good Lord was on Ezra, and the hand of the Lord is upon us mm. today. The hand of the Lord is upon us. Because even the book of Acts tells us, Acts 1, 8, mm. and you shall receive power, power. Yeah. after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And you shall be my witnesses. So can we see that? Hmm. So the Holy Ghost is upon us. So we have the hand of the Lord. Hmm. If you have not seen any of our videos concerning the, the beginning of this message, please go back and read it so that you can look at the scriptures yourself yeah. to verify the hand of the Lord. Because we are all Berean Christians. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. By the grace of God, hopefully... We'll all be Berean Christians. <laughs> amen, amen. So that we can judge by us, judge for ourselves. Mm, mm. So here we're able to see because the good hand of the Lord was upon Ezra and all those that were upon were with him. As a result of that, they had safety. Wow, that's powerful. They had safety. Mm. So we too we have safety. Thank you, Jesus. We have safety because we have, we have the hand of the Lord with us. And we even have the angels also that have been assigned mm. to take care of us in all our ways so that we don't dash our feet against a stone. Mm. Mm. So we have angelic protection. Yes. 24-7. Mm. Anywhere, anywhere we are, God is with us. Mm. And we, we shouldn't be afraid. Mm. Huh. However, <laughs> once you note that we should walk according to what God said we should, you know, mm. what we should do. If he says, go somewhere, go there. If he says, don't go, don't go to a place, mm. don't go. Mm. God knows what will happen. Mm. So we should learn to, you know, ask the Lord, God, where do I go? Mm. It's like, you know, if it involves flying, mm. <laughs> if it involves flying, mm. you know, you have to fly from a country to another country. Mm. People just assume that you know, they can just fly to anywhere in the mm. world. But let's ask God, Mm. Because when God says go to a place, He is committed to your safety. Oh yes. If you know that the, the trip you are making is of God, mm. no demon can hinder you from getting there safely. No demon. Oh, yes. Devil cannot even stop you. So safety was guaranteed mm. because Ezra was doing what God said he should do in that scripture. Mm. 
the Bible says he was ashamed to tell the king to give them soldiers uh, to guard them. He's already boasted. He has boasted. I have the hand <laughs> of the Lord with him. I don't need the security men mm. because God is with me. Mm. That was mm. Ezra under the old covenant. Mm. Mm. Huh. Even the security that we are talking about, there could have been physical security, mm. but it's limited. Mm -hmm, they mm -hmm. have their limitations. Physical security have their limitations. Mm. It's only when you have the Holy Ghost that is without limitations. That's the right. safety is without limitations. That's right. That's right. So there we are able to see. He was aware that he had the hand of the Lord with him. Mm, I'll be honest. He That's had, the key. Yes, he was aware that he had the hand of God. And he knew what the hand of God could do also. Awesome. Awesome. He knew what the hand of God could do. <laughs> mm. Mm. And he wasn't ashamed to declare that before the king. And he wasn't ashamed also concerning him seeing, having that testimony. Mm. Because in the process of doing all these things, I had to go and do it concerning the building of the temple. Yeah. He had safety. That was true. That was true. Nobody could talk and talk mm -hmm. down. Mm -hmm. Uh, or say something that, okay, didn't you say you have the hand of the Lord with you? How come? Maybe something happened to one person or the other. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. nothing like that happened. Mm. Because he knew the hand of the Lord was with him. He knew the hand of the Lord. He was aware. And he could boast in that hand of the Lord. Even before a king. Even though he knew that the king had security. Mm -hmm, that mm. he could have given him. But the security of the Lord was of the utmost. Was Thank of you, the Jesus. highest form. Thank you Jesus. That he could have. So mm. he had that. We are not saying that don't be, um, don't use um, physical security. security. <laughs> Let's balance it. Uh, yeah, yeah. But yeah. we should know that there is a security, a protection that is above every other secret security. Mm, thank you. The Jesus. Bible says that the mountains are round about Jerusalem, so is the Lord round about His people henceforth and forever. So that means around us, mm. around us, even as the mountains are a defense. For, for for Israel, that even the Lord is round about us. Thank you, Jesus. Henceforth and forever. Amen. Wow. Wow. So that security, a guard around us. Mm. The Lord is our defense. Mm. The Lord is our salvation. Mm. And uh, sweetheart, guess what? Ezra testified about God's deliverance. Mm. He said they were delivered from, from, the, from the enemies. Mm -mm. So when you have the Holy Spirit... The you know the the point is, what the enemy is doing is temporal. Mm. You are going through a particular challenge now. You are saying, "Oh, mm. the, the devil again! This enemy again!" Mm. Because you have the Holy Spirit, you will experience deliverance eventually. Oh yes! In the name of Jesus. Amen. And I see you expressing that from today. Amen. Because the power of God is with you there. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Ezra testify of deliverance. You oh, will yeah. testify. Amen. I will testify. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Let's go to the next one. Mm. Talking about the hand of the Lord that is the Holy Ghost. Second Chronicles. Yeah, I think I think it's good to read that. Mm. Second good. Chronicles 20 yeah. verse 6. That's very interesting. Place concerning the hand of the Lord, mm. the power of God. <laughs> And uh, it was David that you know said that mm. when he was about to build the temple, uh, although you know he didn't build it, but his son Solomon built, it, you know, built the, uh, the temple. Mm. Yeah, Uncle Chronicles, Chronicles twenty twenty six and twenty nine twenty nine twelve. First Chronicles twenty nine twelve. I think. Okay, which uh, one do yeah, you want to read? Yeah, let's read this one first. First Chronicles twenty nine twelve. I read from here. First Chronicles, First Chronicles 29, verse 12. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I give you praise. Okay. Yeah. I read from here. Both riches and honor come from you, and you reign over all. And in your hand is power and might. And in your hand it is to make great and to give strength unto all. That is First Chronicles 29, verse 12. It is hands. So it's the hand of the Lord. Yep. 
in his hands that there is riches, that there are riches mm. and there's might, there's power to make great is with the hand of the Lord. The Holy Ghost is the one that can make us great. That is in the, would I say, in the business mm -hmm. of bringing that greatness that mm -hmm. we have, bringing it to manifestation. Oh, yes. So, and the Bible also tells us in Acts 1, 8, if we are looking at this and we look at the New Testament, here it says, in the hand of the Lord, it is, there is power and there is might. Oh, yeah. In the hand of the Lord. Oh, and yeah. the book of Acts 1, 8 tells us that, and you, you shall receive power. power. Mm -hmm. They are talking about the same power. So the Holy Ghost and power is the hand of the Lord. And we can see that here, that in his hand is power and might. Mm. In his hand is to make great and to give strength and unto all. all. Mm. And even Micah 6, 8 tells us, mm. but I am truly full of power. Mm-hmm. By the Spirit of the Lord mm -hmm. and judgment and of might to declare unto Jacob his transgression, mm -hmm. to declare unto Jacob his transgression mm -hmm. and Israel his sin. Thank you, Lord. So the hand of the Lord is the hand that is full of power. Oh, yes. That Micah was talking about here and mm. he was saying that it's the Spirit of the Lord. But I am truly full of power by the Spirit of the Lord. Mm. So the hand of the Lord is the hand of power. The Holy Ghost, mm. because when the Holy Ghost comes, he doesn't come on his own, but he comes with power. That's true. That's why the book of Acts 10, 38 tells us mm. how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yeah. With what? With the Holy Ghost. With and the with Holy power. Ghost and with power. Who went about doing good. And healing, and healing all, all that were oppressed of the devil. Of the devil. Mm. For God was with him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in Micah 6, it says, I am full of power. Yes. Where the Holy Ghost is, he is full of power there. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. If you have the Holy Spirit, you are full of power. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> people, you know, people will say, Oh, God, give me power. I am full with your power. You have the power already if you have the Holy Spirit. Oh, yes. You, you, know, you don't have less power. You, you know, you are full of power when you have the Holy Spirit. Mm. You are full of power. And you shall receive power after that the Holy oh, yeah. Ghost has come upon oh, you. Oh yes, and you know, and you know, it doesn't come to us in our own time in measures. Mm. In measures, well, uh, you know, people refer to uh, Elijah, Elijah, and uh, Elijah's experience mm. that uh, Elijah asked for the portion of the anointing on, on Elijah. In our own time, we have we have the full portion. Everyone. Every you know every believer that that's, that has the Holy Spirit, we, we have, have all been leveled. You know, we've been le we are we are on the same level. Every one of us has a power in us in full. Mm. Whether you are black, whether you are white, white. whether you are female, whether you are, you are a male, male, whether you are a computer engineer, a banker, a banker, hmm. or a child. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, once mm -hmm. you have the Holy Ghost, you are full, full of, of power. power. But we need Thank to you, know that we need to have a revelation that we are full of power before, so that we can walk accordingly. Thank you, Lord. Thank Not you, that Lord. we are asking for power. The thing is that the power manifestation is different. Yeah, yeah, it does differ. If you don't use what you have been given, you can't see more manifestations of that power. Mm, mm, mm. We can't sit down on one spot and say, give me power. When we already have the power and mm. we are not using that power, mm. how can it increase? Yeah, you must, you know, you must or activate manifest. the power. Yeah, activate the power and walk obeying the obeying the spirit of God. Mm. As you obey the spirit of God, you will mm. see the power of God manifest, mm. manifesting in your life as a person. Mm. Obedience at work, obedience in your family as He leads you. You understand? You understand His leading, mm. and you respond to His leadings. Mm. You will see His power manifesting. Okay. Say, wow, this is part of God. Mm. Power to heal, mm. to deliver. Power for you know you know power to be led, they will power lead you. To get wealth. Power to get wealth. Ideas on how to succeed will come as you obey this. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> yeah. So as we are saying, is that you have the power of God inside of you, and the power of God is with you twenty four seven. Hallelujah. And the same power is being is being referred to in John one twelve that as many as receive him. Mm -hmm. To them gave he power. As many as received Jesus Christ, to them gave he power to become the sons 
of God. Yep. The sons and daughters is the same power, the power of the Holy Ghost that makes the difference. The power of the Holy Ghost makes us children, gives us the DNA of God, gives us the DNA of God, the Holy Spirit inside us. So we have the hand of God with us 24-7. He does not go and come, mm. but he's with us 24-7. It's the same power that can give us, that gets us wealth. Deuteronomy 8, 18. Yep. The same power gives us wealth. Not only spiritual, but... Shed you, who you are. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> there was a technical hitch there. Sorry about that. Yeah. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> so, as you were saying, so Michael was saying that he was truly full of power by the spirit of the lord and of might to declare unto jacob his transgression and israel his sin so the power that was in him that was upon him also enabled him to make prosper hallelujah okay Amen. yeah sorry about that <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah so we are also told here that micah said that not only that is full of power by the spirit of god but also judgment you know there's um this going on and uh, don't judge don't judge don't judge but every day we make judgments mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's even ordinarily speaking yeah. every day we make judgments okay what should i eat today yeah. what should i wear today we are making judgments yeah but here we are even see we can also see that the judgment here he made judgment that he was enabled to mm. declare unto Jacob his transgression mm -hmm. and Israel his sins. his sins. And the Bible tells us that he that is spiritual judgeth all things, all things. and good. yet is judged of no man. Mm. Okay. Yeah, hallelujah. Yeah, Micah. So he made judgments and we are supposed to make judgments. It's only that the judgment should be according to what we hear. When the Holy Ghost speaks to us and he has made a judgment, then you can go with that judgment and also say the same thing. You are repeating the same thing. Because even Jesus him, himself, he said, as I hear, mm. I judge. That's true. He wasn't talking about the physical hearing. He was mm. talking about the hearing behind the hearing. That's true. There is a hearing behind the hearing. That means there is a spiritual hearing behind your physical hearing mm. so he relied on the hearing behind the hearing that is on the spiritual hearing in order to make judgments so when we rely on the hearing the spiritual hearing we are making the right judgments oh, yeah. if the holy ghost has said this and this and this and you're also repeating the same thing mm. then that's not a sin mm. Mm. because you are making judgment in line with what you are hearing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. J just as Jesus Christ made judgment according to what he was hearing. Mm. And that's part of the works of Christ. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So, which means judge judgment, you know, should not be in the flesh. Mm. People will say, well, the Bible says, judge not and you be not judged. Mm. You know, Christ himself judged people when mm. he was in the world. Yes. He judged them as he was told by the Father. Oh, yes. Yes. That's why he said, woe to so and so. <laughs> you, you hypocrites. Uh -huh. He knew them. Yes. <laughs> because the father has shown him who they were. You Pharisees, you hypocrites. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, the Lord didn't just close his mouth. Uh -huh. He spoke out because he was speaking what he was told. Yeah, what he heard. You know, what he heard from the father. He will not say anything except he hears from the father. That oh, was yes. Jesus Christ. Yes. And we can also operate like that. We are God will tell you, so tell you something. And when you come to say it, you know, you are speaking through the backing of the Almighty God Himself. Yes. So if you judge based upon what you are. Uh, Hallelujah. Uh, Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, sorry about this. We have to <coughs> look for a solution. Yeah. Mm. So another example is the hand was heavy on the Philistines. Mm. That is, the Holy Ghost was heavy on the Philistines. Not for good. Hmm. It wasn't for good. It wasn't to their benefit mm -hmm, at mm -hmm, all. Mm -hmm. First Samuel 5, 6. 
because the Philistines, they are taking the ark. Mm -hmm. They are taking the ark. What did not belong to them, they took it. And as a result of that, God punished them. We are told that emeralds came upon them mm -hmm. in their private parts mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because they are taken. As you were saying, the hand of the Lord was heavy on the Philistines because they took the ark of the Lord. So punishment came upon them. Emeralds came upon them in their private parts because they are taking the ark, because they are taking what did not belong to them. That's First Samuel 5 verse 6. You can read that yourself. And then... We can also look at the New Testament concerning the hand of the Lord. Mm. Let's open our Bibles to 2 Corinthians 3, verse 3. For as much are you ma as ye are manifestly declared to be the epistle of Christ, ministered by us, written not with ink, but mm -hmm. with the Spirit of the living God, not in tables of stone, but in tables, in fleshly tables of the heart. Mm -hmm. Here we are told that for as much as ye are manifestly declared to be the epistle of Christ, ministered by us, Written not with ink, but with the spirit of the living God. We have been talking about the hand of the Lord here. When you want to write, you write with your hand. So here we are told, written not with ink, mm. but written with the spirit of the Lord, the mm -hmm. hand of the Lord. Mm -hmm. So the hand of the Lord is what is used to write the laws today in our hearts. In the Old Testament, there is a, a reference made to when Moses, he went to get the Ten Commandments. Yeah. And those were written, the laws were written on tables of stone. Yeah. But in our time, in the New Testament, we are told that those laws are now written on our hearts. So the hand of the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord, mm. has written on our hearts the laws that we are supposed to to follow. Mm -hmm. That's why the book of Romans 8 2 tells us that the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made us free from the law of sin and, and death. death. Hallelujah. The law of the spirit of Christ. The law of the spirit of Christ. Mm. The law of the spirit of Christ. Mm. The law of the spirit. Okay. That is in Christ Jesus mm -hmm, mm -hmm. has made us free from the law of sin and death. So we are supposed to be following the law of the Spirit today. Mm -hmm. So whatever the Holy Ghost tells us is law. That's and that true. is what we are supposed to be following today. Oh yeah. So there we are able to see that the writing is not with ink, mm -hmm. but with the Spirit of the Lord. So mm -hmm. the hand of the Lord has written on our hearts the laws that we are supposed to follow so at every point in time he will let us know what those laws are mm. we are supposed to ask him what are we supposed to do in this case or mm -hmm. that case or mm -hmm. he can even reveal them mm. that's why the bible says counsel is in the heart of man mm -hmm. but it's a man of understanding that will draw it out that's right so you can get wisdom when you start praying in the spirit you are drawing from your well that is on the inside where the Holy Ghost is, is the well. Mm. You can draw counsel from there. When you start praying in the Spirit, uh, you are asking Him, mm. what should I do here? Yeah. What is the counsel? What is your advice? What is your admonition that you have for, for me? What is your idea? What is your counsel? Mm. What is your advice? What is your take on this particular issue? And mm -hmm. he will show us. That's true. He will give us counsel. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. here that is what we are told 
that written not with ink oh, yes. but with the spirit of the living god you write with your hand and the holy ghost here is the one that has written the laws mm. on our heart mm. that we are supposed to follow hallelujah and uh, as you are talking you mentioned that you know when we pray in the holy spirit we draw you know praying in tongues is meant for every believer if you are a child of god we have mentioned that in our previous, previous broadcast it you know the experience is for you Mm. The power of the Holy Ghost is for you if you are a child of the Most High God. Luke 11, verses 11 to 13 mentioned that you know, God will give to us the Holy Spirit freely when we ask from Him. So the power is meant for you. It's not meant for the Pentecostals alone. Mm. Or it's meant for the Baptists. It's meant for the denomination. Mm. As many as are God's children and you are thirsty for the Holy Spirit, the power is meant for you. After all, a man like Cornelius mm. in Acts 10, a Gentile, Peter was just preaching to, uh, you know, preaching in the house of Cornelius. And before he even made the altar call, the Holy Ghost came upon Cornelius and his household. Oh, yeah. So the power is meant for any believer, not for Pentecostals or somebody who got born again 30 years ago. Mm. No, no, no. Somebody who got born again today mm. can receive the Holy Spirit because you are a child of God. You have the right to be baptized in the Holy Spirit. Oh, yes. It's a, it's a, I mean, it's a pity the way people make it difficult today. Mm. As regards the power of the Holy Spirit, is the power is meant for every child of God. Ask for the power, and you receive the power. Then start praying in the Spirit. Mm. That is your portion. Mm. Pray in the Spirit in the morning, in the afternoon, at night, mm. you know, overnight. Mm. Pray as long as you want to pray in the Holy Ghost. It yes. is your right. Yes. It's your right. In fact, the Holy Ghost helps you to obey God better. Yes. The Holy yes. Ghost helps you to serve God better. Oh, yes. With our own power, we can't, we can't obey God. Oh, yes. with, our, with our own power, we can't obey God the way, you know, God expects us to, to, to obey Him. Mm. So the power is meant for you. Whether you are a banker, you are a businessman, if you are a child of God, mm. you are born again, the power is for you. Oh, so yes. go and receive the power. Drink, you know, from mm. the word of the Holy Spirit mm. and let the power flow through you. As you pray in the Spirit, and as you draw from the Holy Ghost, as you have ideas from the Holy Spirit, then you will know what to do, mm -hmm. because the law is written in your heart. Yes, by you the will Holy let Spirit. Us know. And we've already talked about how to hear. Yeah. In previous. Yeah. Broadcast. Yeah. Yes, we've already spoken on how to hear. Thank you, Jesus. So we can let you know. And as I was saying earlier. I was saying that the law of the spirit of life, that's mm -hmm. what I wanted to say. Okay. That the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made us free from the law of sin and death. We need the law of the spirit of life. Hmm. We need to hear, we need to know those things so that we can follow them. Thank you for who you are. Hallelujah. <laughs> What an experience mm. <laughs> today. We give God praise. Thanks for taking your time to listen. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. The Holy Ghost is with us. Mm. And we know that uh, you know, it's, it's with us 24 7. In summary, today, we mm. have seen that the hand of the Lord can be for or against, or against either a person mm. or a nation. Mm. And we've also seen that you know, since the day of Pentecost, the heaven has been opened and it hasn't been closed. Mm. You know, over us as believers. Mm. In fact, and we have also discussed that if you are in Christ, if the heaven above Jesus Christ is opened, mm. then, the, then the heaven above you is also opened. Because we are in Christ. Because you are in Christ. And go around with your shoulders high, mm. knowing that your heaven is opened. And also because you are seated in heavenly places, far above all the powers of darkness, mm. you, your heaven is opened. And we have been able to see other things that through the Spirit of God, deliverance is sure, favor is sure, and there's open access. And there's to open, open access. You know, there's open access to God because heaven above you is opened. Mm. You may be going through a particular challenge now. That that doesn't mean that God has forsaken you. God is with you. Mm. Very soon, you will see His hand manifested in your situation in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, real good. Amen. Yeah, I think uh, we should just pray for those who are trusting God for sound health. The hand of the Lord, that the hand of God will touch them anywhere they are. The Lord will speak to people who are who are sick mm. all over the world, blood condition, mm. brain condition, organ condition, 
be healed by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Everything they are preaching about your health, mm -hmm. contrary to what God has planned for you and your family, mm -hmm. will reverse oh, by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Amen. You shall not die but live to declare God's glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise. Oh, in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. And you, have, you, have, you are watching us, or maybe watching us later, and you are not born again. Just say after me, Lord Jesus, save my soul. Come into my heart. I want to be born again. Let my name be written in the book of life. Amen. From now onward in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And you have been born again. You want a part of God. Just say after me, Lord Jesus, Amen. I am your child. I am asking for the power of the Holy Spirit as a child of God. Let the power be given to me with the evidence of speaking in tongues from now in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to be able to, be, to pray in the Spirit. I want to do exploits for you, Lord. Amen. Let your power manifest in my life in Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, I have prayed. Amen. Amen. There is somebody there that has an interview. The hand of the Lord for favor is your portion. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. All right, so have a lovely week ahead. Have a good uh, program tomorrow. Mm. If, those, if those are going to church, have a good program tomorrow and have a lovely next week in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right. That